Hello everybody, this is the Weeks Train. Let's talk a little bit about John Grisham, shall we? I've read half a dozen of John Grisham's books and they have a problem which I always find a little bit annoying. Not all of them, but many of them. It is like if you have a car where the window is smashed and rain starts pouring and you're sitting there thinking, how am I gonna get dry? How am I gonna get dry? How about fixing the window? I th I'm thinking. 50 pages later, they're still sitting there thinking, how on earth am I going to be able to become dry? How about fixing the window? I'm thinking. And um, 300 pages later, they fix the window. They get an aha thing. I don't know whether or not that is the case for the movie The Client. I haven't read that book, but I'm sure it probably exists, this kind of problem in here. But that's not the only problem that the client has. In the mid-90s, there were John Grisham book-based movies coming out, you know, as often almost as um, superhero movies are, you know, done today. Let's talk today about the movie The Client. So we are in Louisiana and then we have a poor kid who you know hangs out in a you know, rural location and he sees an abandoned car where there is a mob lawyer. The mob lawyer is contemplating whether or not he should off himself or if he just you know are not going to off himself. Now the kid is in there with him and uh, he's you know, frightened for his life and then he kills himself. Then he's pulled into the legal machinery where very 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 ambitious and a bit sleazy a district attorney uh, played by Tommy Lee Jones wants the kid to you know talk about what he has heard. Is Maybe they can you know find some clues to some case or something like that. But the kid wants to be represented by Susan Sarandon, an attorney that's supposed to take care of his rights or something like that. Um, uh, and also the, the mobsters are of course a bit worried about what he might know. In theory Joel Schumacher has made a good movie with good actors and uh, some tension and uh, you know good music, good cinematography. Nothing is bad but there is a Nicki Minaj sized butt here. Two parts because a butt contains of two halves. The first one being that this movie suffers from we know too much syndrome, which means that we know a lot of stuff that other characters don't know, and this very rarely works. And this makes me all, always when I see this, it makes me very, very, very impatient and a bit annoyed. But the other butt cheek is even worse because I have zero sympathy for this kid. I hate him. I hate him so much that I want him to actually die. I don't know if it's the way it's written, I don't know if it is how he is costed. I just know that I don't like him. I have some sympathy for Susan Sarandon, but not a lot. I actually have a lot more sympathy for Tommy Lee Jones, one of my favorite actors. And um, because this is, you know, the, it, 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 it is not done the way the filmmakers intended for me. So I'm not invested in the story and I hate the wrong characters. That's a problem. I think you probably like the client more than I do. I think that most people like the client more than I do. It's not a bad movie. It is just a movie made in the wrong way. And John Grisham's problem fingerprints that I always see. I mean, I, I guess it, his books are well written and his books probably has a lot of research to it. And I guess that everything that happens to it is legally sound and everything like that. But I still find them a bit tedious. Whether or not you should see the client or not is up for debate. I think it is a not so good movie, but if you can get past 
the things I couldn't get past. I think you'll like this movie thorough, fair enough. I give this movie 29 points. It is not bad, but as I say, it works in all the wrong ways. And uh, I didn't find this movie particularly suspenseful either. This is definitely not Louisiana. This is Foresta Umbra, the Forest of Shadows, which sounds like a book from a so-and-so fantasy writer where the heroes has to try to escape the clutches of the evil wizard uh, Gnirfog or something like that. But uh, we'll see where we go the next time. Till next time, this is the Vix Trend saying that I'll return to you from so-and-so reviewing, well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.